Hi, my name is Owen. Hi, my name is Rose. I'm Jonah, and we are doing UNSDG number seven with an emphasis on wind. Over the past 30 years, Japan has seen a 10% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. Japan has invested over $100 billion into renewable energies between solar and wind. Japan utilizes a mix of onshore and offshore wind, and already the predictions for harvestable wind have dropped by 10%. This discourages Japan from implementing more turbines. So how does wind occur? Wind occurs for two main reasons, which are temperature and pressure. And so what happens is you have cold fronts and warm fronts, which make a circular motion that create wind. And the important part of this process is that the difference in temperature affects pressure. So the issue with global warming in relation to wind speeds is that when you have every, you know, all airs at a higher temperature, base starting temperature, it changes the wind speed. The difference will be less and therefore the lower wind speed. Okay, so wind patterns change all the time, even just from January to July. And it's important to be able to predict direction as um, accurately as possible in order to ensure that wind turbines are being effective. If it changes too much, then there's too much uncertainty, which is not appealing. It's a naturally occurring energy source, which is very valuable while also being abundant, meaning we need to take advantage of it. Um, there's not a lot of graphs um, about it yet because it's very recently surfacing. Um, so we've derived a lot of our information from things like case studies. And so why does this matter? This matters for a very important reasons, but one of them being is overall energy production, which drives up energy prices. It also makes wind turbines less effective for the future, and that will discourage people from building more and more investment, and also will be slowing the energy transition, meaning we'll rely more heavily on fossil fuels such as gas or coal. So who does it impact? In short, as we all know, climate change impacts the entire world in, for, in the form of extreme weather events, for example, hurricanes, tornadoes, floods, droughts, wildfires, um, and as we all kind of grasped at this point, the big goal is to make the planet more sustainable. To move toward this goal, wind energy needs to be reliable, efficient, and appealing as possible. And with the reduced predictab predictability of wind patterns, it's doing quite the opposite, which is acting as a major deterrent. And we need to combat this issue by making wind energy a very tempting alternative by allowing a wind turbine to be able to adapt to all types of wind energy levels, whether there are strong gusts of wind or a simple breeze. Our design incorporates ideas that allow our turbines to be easily portable, as well as being able to generate energy during times of low wind activity. We utilize multiple turbines to enhance the energy production during these times of low wind activity. The impact of our design on sustainability and environmental aspect is any renewable energy source will beat out any fossil fuel. But what makes our idea stand out is that we appeal to areas where solar energy or hydroelectric power is a viable option. In terms of economics, wind is a free-to-harvest source of energy, unlike fossil fuels, where prices are often marked up and are not easily accessible to the whole world without private companies supplying energy. And finally, in a social aspect, our turbines can be used for humanitarian aid due to their ease of portability. Thanks. That's the end. Thank you so much for listening, watching. Thank you. Thank you.